Crochet fans, Tasha here with Forever Bliss Crochet. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Ravelry. I also do a monthly podcast over on my alpaca channel. You can find the links to all these down in the description box. In this video, we're, we are going to be working on the chevron pattern. And this is a really fun pattern that uses increasing and decreasing. If you're not familiar with how to increase and decrease, watch the video I did just before this one that goes into detail about how to do it. I'm not going to be covering that here. Uh, so if you haven't done that yet, go watch that video first and then come back. So in this pattern that I'm using, I have chained 32 and I'm going to be working into the back ridge of the chain. Reason being, if I put my stitch in this back loop, the back ridge, on the front it leaves the V exposed. And so this edge is going to look just like the other edge with the last row having V's on top. To start off this pattern, we're going to skip the first three chains and work into the fourth. And again, I'm working into the back. So one, two, th two three, four, and I'm working into the back. This is going to be a double crochet. All the stitches for this pattern is double crochet. So now I have this chain three here, which is going to act as a double crochet in the pattern and then the double crochet just did. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. Then we're going to do a decrease, which is taking these three chains and making them into one stitch at the top. This is also known as a double crochet three together. So I'll go into the first chain, start that stitch and hold it. Second, hold that stitch. And third, hold that stitch. Again, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing here, go and watch that other video. So now I will complete the decrease where I have just made three double crochets together into one. Okay, we're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches, or the next three chains in this case. Okay, so that was three. And now in this next one, we're going to do a three double crochets in there. So it's gonna, a double crochet fan is another way to think about that, or another name that it's called. So I'll do one, two, and three. So you can see here, this was an increase. Over here, we had a decrease. And you can already see that there's a shape starting to form. Now we've just completed the repeat that's going to happen. One double crochet in three in the next three stitches. You're going to do double crochet three together, the decrease, a double crochet in the next three stitches, and then a fan of three double crochets, which is an increase. And then it starts to make this wave or chevron pattern. So we're going to repeat this as many times as the width of the project you want to do. So if you're doing a blanket, obviously it's going to be multiple repeats of this section. But for today's sample, which I'm really just making the width of a scarf, I'm going to repeat this section one more time. So a double crochet in these three stitches. Sometimes you have troubles getting your hook in there. 
another one. And a third one. Then we're going to do a decrease these three chains into one stitch. The yarn is not flowing well there. Okay, there's the third one. Combine them all together. And now the next three stitches, single crochet, or sorry, double crochet in each of those. And then we're going to do an increase of this one chain where we put three. So it's a double crochet fan. We're going to do three in here. And that would complete the second repeat. All right. And you can see even more so now that pattern forming. So now we have two valleys and two peaks. And to make this look a little more even where the two peaks are going to be in the center, I'm going to continue with double crochet in the next three stitches. My back ridge kind of got buried there. Next, we'll make these three stitches into one with the decrease. Then we have a double crochet in the next three chains. And then we will finish with the two stitches here on the end, the two chains on the end. So here is my finished row. You can see I have two peaks and three valleys. The increases make the peaks and the decreases make the valleys. You'd follow the same pattern for every row, which I will include this pattern down in the description box. And you'd have peaks on peaks and valleys on valleys. And you could alternate colors for different rows, maybe do two rows of one color, the third a different color, and keep alternating, that would be really fun. In the description box, I've also included some patterns from Ravelry that are free that also use this chevron pattern. So some blankets, some cowls, some different things there that um, you can go ahead and make this into something. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. If you have suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like me to make. Happy crocheting and I will see you on the next video.